It was a lovely Greenville day. I brought my RV to Greenville Truck and Trailer for some routine maintenance and an oil change. I was told my 8 o'clock appointment would begin promptly at 11.30. I then noticed an abandoned Class A motorhome in the field across from the mechanic, but I saw it as a coincidence and not an omen. I then decided to go for a bike ride. I rode through the fairgrounds, down Schweitzer, toward Broadway, to the coffee pot, for a cup of coffee and to use their Wi-Fi to do some admin. I then decided to go sightseeing. I rode down Broadway, past the heavy metal Church of Christ, to the school of my youth. I tried to remember a church song I used to like. I then rode back past the heavy metal Church of Christ, down Broadway, through the traffic circle, past the maid right, where I decided I would have lunch that day. I then went to the Garst Museum. I saw the cool old motorcycle. I learned about the Treaty of Greenville, how Greenville was once a swamp and farmers drained it, and then I paid my respects to Annie Oakley, Little Miss Sure Shot, the most famous person ever to come from Greenville. I then rode back past the Maid Rite, where I noticed the Dick and Jane statue. I learned in the Garst Museum that it was a gift from the city of Paris. They gave New York City the iconic Lady of Liberty. They gave Greenville a glorified lawn ornament. I thought to myself, fuck you, France. I rode back up Broadway and returned to the coffee pot for some more admin and to hang some posters for an upcoming comedy event. It was then time for lunch. I enjoyed two made rights with everything and then stuck my chewing gum on the side of the building, which is the custom. At this time, my RV was finished. I rode back up Broadway, down Schweitzer, through the fairgrounds, where I noticed an abandoned Saturn. I reattached my bike to my RV and headed out. I decided that Greenville was the appropriate place to begin a journey to Fort Wayne. I learned at the Garth Museum, a man named Uzziah Hammer used Fort Green as a launching point to secure the Ohio Valley for the white man. He tried to cut a path through Fort Wayne with some militiamen, where he ran into local leader and all-around badass, Little Turtle. Josiah led from the rear, and all of his men were killed. Thinking it was just a fluke, he went back and gathered some more farmers. They were again all killed. The United States then asked Matt Anthony Wayne to return with some army regulars. He defeated Little Turtle's men and then signed the Treaty of Greenville so Greenville could become all the glory that it is today. I decided I would not be like Josiah Hamer, and I would be prepared for my trip. I went to the tractor supply store, got some natural gas from my RV, to the Kroger's for some needed supplies, and I would be off. It was a lovely Greenville day.